My name is Ed Mata, Yokut Chumash descent, California Indian, and I've been working at Pottawa Community Food Garden for 20 years. I enjoy uh, the solitude, the togetherness with the group, um, the nutritious vegetables and fruit that come up out of the garden. Yeah, that's what I enjoy most. It's funny because I go home when I don't want to work anymore. So I really don't have anything at home other than some fruit trees that I planted. So I have apples and the pears and I got cherry trees. And so those are fun to take care of. But uh, I do most of my work here because I'm here six days basically out of the week. And uh, it gets to be uh, uh, very rewarding, especially at markets when you see the people buying the produce or we're able to give it to elder nutritional programs or, or just be able to teach somebody how to garden. So it's a very rewarding job. So that's why I like it. Uh, the best way to start is ask questions. You know, ask one of us, one of our garden assistants here. And I get this a lot. How did you get your tomatoes so sweet? You know, how come the strawberries are so sweet? Well, don't water them all the time. You know, you give them little suggestions. Don't water them, but once a week. Tomatoes once every two weeks, once they get established. Um, so then that draws their interest. And so they actually go home and start it. And a lot of the times they're fighting different diseases or different complications. They're at home and they'll come back and they'll ask us about that. And we'll say, well, don't put plastic over them. You know, it's too hot for it. Or uh, you're watering them too much or, you know, so. So that's good that they're asking questions and that they're successful the next time they do it. Well, sure, food is good medicine. It's, uh, it's a, uh, energy energy booster you know when you when you eat good food especially like what we had today a really good garden salad you feel so much better afterwards in comparison to let's say you go eat a double double cheeseburger or somewhere and you feel uh, you know you're kind of a little bloated and stuff but you still enjoy it you're right but you don't have that same satisfying feeling in the energy boost that you get from good nutrition garden food well, they can find like relaxation, and that's uh, part of our good spirit. You know, they can come in here and relax, uh, come in and volunteer. A lot of our volunteers come over just to be in a setting where they can do something to uh, relieve their stress from school, relieve their stress from being at home, or maybe they have some family problems. They come in here and just leave that all behind them when they walk in those gates, and they can, um, feel good about themselves once they leave the garden. Yeah, yeah, just welcome, you know, welcome to the garden, you know. Uh, you know, we don't run into so much, so many people that say, uh, give us a lot of questions. They just do their, you know, job that we want them to do and they feel satisfied by taking home some produce that they actually got to work on. So maybe later on in the season, they come by and get some green beans or they come by and get a few uh, strawberries or they come by and get some lemon cucumbers, you know, and so their reward is to be able to take it, but they're also their reward is that they put their hands in the dirt. They're able to work the ground. Yeah. <laughs> that was your timer. Yeah. And it was my timer. My time is up. <laughs>